Okay, we're going to talk about Craig Abodich, um, first Swiss Bay in the medley. Um, to start out, uh, for, first little bit I want to talk about is actually the role that we use to come into that second bar. Uh, I think a lot of times we end up kind of stair-stepping this roll. One, two. You know what I mean? We really can hear beat four happen. We got to make sure we ramp this up a little bit better. It, it's okay if we start in three and don't quite get loud until after beat four passes us by. Two. Right? Two. I mean, I'm fine if we're thinking about beat four and making sure our right hand buzz is hitting right on beat four so that we are metered and actually end the roll together. That is an extremely important thing to do, right? We gotta hit that down beat all right together. Um, but what I wanna avoid is hitting that beat four heavily with our right hand and stair-stepping this roll. I don't want that. One, two. So then after that, we have that change that we made, the really quick left-handed five. Right? We gotta really make a big honking dot there and a really short, tight, uh, very concise left hand five. All right? Make sure to leave lots of space on that dot. Let's try that whole first line. Two, ready? And two, two. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the, uh, the fourth bar, actually. Um, those cheeses. I know that I have a tendency to, to close those up every time. I don't want them to be like that. I, in this context, they're not accented, right? They're not accented, and it's written as, as a 16th note triplet. So we got to spread these out. Think of them as soft and light here, right? That's accentuated more by the fact that we have an accent after that cheese. So let's try and make them with those as smooth as possible. I think that comes from not, not trying to be quite as, as congested in, in that flam itself. We can play those You know what I mean? Very tight, very, very triplet diddleish. I don't want that. We play the same ending four times. Um, let, let's not make it be a harsh ending. Let's make it be a nice, smooth, smooth and easy transition in, into this ending here. Third and fourth bars, two. Ready and go. Make sure that we do hit a nice solid beat one um, in this fourth bar. I think that's the only point I want to make about dynamics here. Once again, same, same thought in the ending, right? Um, second line, uh, we do want to grow this this uh, passage, this roll passage a little bit. Now it doesn't grow until right towards the very end. I've written the, the, the crescendo right on beat four of the second bar. Honestly, I, I'm starting that crescendo a little bit before then. Um, so that by the time we hit that drag tap in, into, the, into the last roll, it's already got a little bit of angst in it, right? Right? Because we do want a good, healthy uh, crescendo there. I, I don't think we're going to be forte by the time we hit that third bar. Probably a, a not so mezzo at most, right? Okay, try that whole second line too. Ready? And go. Right? Now, going into the second part. Precision, 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 precision on that first note of those singles, right? Bobby, we cannot afford to have you be early. 
You're good when you think about it. Think about it every time, right? So precision, nice and light on those singles. Even that mezzo forte accent, I think mezzo forte is probably an overstatement here. And then what we really need to make sure of, I mean, think about one of these pipe phrases, right? I think there's another giant, uh, giant dot on beat three here. If we stretch that out, that will just increase tension and increase satisfaction when we get the resolution on the other side, right? So make for dang sure that you're not just rounding that out. You know what I mean? You can't come in at all early in there. I don't think I have any comment about the third measure. I think it's going pretty well. Then when we have the same reprise of that same little phrase in the second line of the part, um, we just gotta be extra vigilant about our heights in our singles. Both sets of those singles should be almost exactly the same. The only difference is there's not a pop on the end of the second singles run, right? There is on the first one but not in the second one. And we did drop off that pickup into the last roll too. Try that whole line too. Ready? And. Again, two, ready, and. Try the holster spay. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> 